what's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Pimp My PC. Now, this is the show we try to teach you how to personalize, customize, trick out your PC, but above all, make it cool. Now, a couple of episodes back, we were talking about a feature that was included in Windows Vista, but was left out of Windows 7, and that was the dream scene. Well, just recently, I've run across another feature that wasn't included in Windows 7. We're going to talk about that today, guys, so step into my office. All right, so the screensaver. Nothing new to see here, right? Well, that's not true. Windows 7 actually included uh, a few new screensavers in there. I believe we've got uh, Bubbles, uh, Mystify, and Ribbons, I think, were the new ones. Now, the screensaver, in my opinion, is just another weapon in that arsenal to pimp out that PC, personalize it a little bit more. Can't tell you how many times I sat uh, on Saturday nights just in front of my XP machine going through that star show, that warp speed, right? So I'm assuming I can actually get the same, uh, the same experience with Windows 7. So what we're going to do is just right-click on the desktop, Go down to Personalize and head down to the bottom and click on our screensaver. That's going to bring up the screensaver window. And uh, yeah, so you'll see Bubbles is the first one there. And uh, we'll just give it a preview just to show you guys what, uh, what the standard is. So there you got some tiny little bubbles floating around. I guess that's pretty cool. Um, but, you know, maybe you want more bubbles. Maybe you want angry bubbles, right? So really all you need to do is click on that Settings button. In theory... <coughs> Pwned. Well, maybe bubbles are special. Maybe they don't want you touching the bubbles. How many times have you heard that? So we'll go down to Mystify. Click on Settings. Ah. Well, nerds to that. This is Pimp My PC, guys. So I went out and find a found a fix for this. And uh, once again, our friend Vishal at AskVG.com has shown us the way. So we're going to head over to his website right now and show you guys where I picked up this uh, screensaver tweaker. And uh, as I said, askvg.com. Uh, go to his Windows 7 listings, and you'll see the screensaver tweaker right there. Just kind of scroll down, show you guys what he's done. A little bit of write-up on it and his complaint about how there's no settings as well. Uh, screenshot and an actual link to actually download the application itself. Comes in a zip file, extract the files, install it. No big deal, guys. You guys have seen it before. I'm not going to waste your time with that now. So, um, so yeah, so uh, as you saw, no settings there, so uh, we are going to change that right now. So I'm going to bring open my screensaver tweaker, and uh, I've got the bubble selected right there. So what I'm going to do is show you guys the sweetness of this application. So we're going to make the bubbles bigger, we're going to give ourselves a lot more bubbles, and we're going to make them angry. Angry bubbles! Going to click apply, and you'll see that the settings were saved. Minimize this. And now we'll click on Preview and go back to our bubbles. We should see gigantic bubbles bouncing across my desktop. Pretty cool, right? Wait, bubbles aren't cool. You're not going to let me live that down, are you, Matt? Okay, so let's dude it up a little bit. So in order to do that, we're going to go right back to our screensaver tweaker. And uh, we're going to make our bubbles angrier. And we're going to take off that transparent setting and click on Apply. Okay, so now we'll preview that, and you should see that those uh, bubbles have now become balls. And nothing says man like big balls bouncing across your desktop. Am I right? Oh. All right. So that's two features that are missing in Windows 7 that uh, we've pointed out. But what I'm curious is if you've actually run across any that you would like to see back in Windows 7 that for some reason have mysteriously disappeared. I'm only one man, but if you hit me up at lucas at butterscotch.com, I'll see what I can do to find a fix for you. That's today's show, guys. Make sure you head over to butterscotch.com and check out those show notes. Grab that screensaver tweaker for yourself so you can make those pimps to your screensavers. I'm Lucas. You guys keep it unique. See ya!